face. This is Brother Hot Tim. And I want to say hi to the group. Hey, the group, can y'all say hi? Hi! All right, now we're doing a live story, and we're doing right now the story called The Magic Bird. Now, I'm doing it with this group because they already experienced The Magic Bird, and they know how to do it, don't y'all? Yeah! We're going to turn it out, right? Yeah! All right, so now, this story is called The Magic Bird, and all of y'all know that all my stories start a long Which way? That way. That way and far, 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 far. of the Yami people. And the Yami people are known worldwide for all of their accomplishments, but this was before they became famous. Before they became famous, they were attacked by a swarm of birds. Now these weren't ordinary birds, these was magic birds. And these magic birds would come and take their food, but it would be a particular type of food that they would take. They only would take prepared food. So this means that they never attacked the, they never attacked the cows. They never attacked the goats. They never attacked the corn. They never went out in the field or went to the fruit trees. They would only take the food if you had prepared it and made it ready to eat. So that meant that the goats were safe as long as you didn't want to make goat soup. Or the cows were safe as long as you didn't make hamburgers. As soon as you got done cooking it and was about to eat, put it up in your mouth and eat it, guess what would happen? The birds would appear and take it. And this happened to everybody at the same time. So you, 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 you and you could all be eating at the same time in different villages and all at the same time. The birds will appear and do what? So if you had, what's your favorite food? And you had your favorite food? Y'all talk loud. French fries. And you had chicken and rice. And you had broccoli. And you had all right, somebody said strawberries, you. Banana. This one right here that I'm pointing at. Right here, you, in the red shirt. Huh? Hot dogs. And you. Huh? Fudge. Fudge. Okay, and you. French fries. French fries, and you. Gingies. All right, and you. Carrot. And you. Hamburger. And you. Wendy's. And you. you know, wait, hold on. You know Wendy's not a food. What type of food? Corn. Okay. And you? Popcorn. And you? Um, um, double decker hamburger. Okay, double decker hamburger. Talk loud so you can be heard. And you? And a sandwich. Sandwich. Last one. And you? A pizza. All of y'all had all your food at the same time. These birds would appear and do what? Now, this was going on for a while, and the elders finally came together and decided. The elders came together and decided that they need to handle this situation. They decided that they needed to deal with these birds. So they went and got one guy, because he, he was an excellent nation builder, and his name was Chaco. And they gave Chaco the responsibility to go out and get rid of these birds. Because these birds was taking all the food, so now the children was miserable. The parents were miserable. The grandparents were miserable. Because these birds was taking their food. 
So they told Chaco, they said, Chaco, we're going to give you the responsibility because the future of the villages lie in your hand. So Chaco came and Chaco decided the best way to handle it was to find the source of the magic. Because magic, just like any other problem that you're going to experience in your life, can be solved best if you get to the root. So magic, if you found the root of the magic, you can stop the problem. So he figured the birds weren't the root of the magic. He figured the birds were the symptom of the magic. So he wanted to go and find the root of the magic. So what he did was he got the best trackers. Nami people was famous because they were good trackers. And they sent out a tracker from each village to go out and find where these birds come from. Now the birds moved so fast that you couldn't see them, so it took these trackers weeks. And every now and then they would find a broken branch, and they would follow it. And they would find some magic bird poop. And they would find, follow it, and they would find a little footprint, and they would follow it. And eventually, they all found where the birds were coming from. And guess where they was coming from? How did y'all know it was a magic tree? It was a magic tree. It was a magic tree. And he, and they brought it back to Chaco, and they said, Chaco, there's a magic tree. And Chaco said, how do you know it's a magic tree? They said, we know this land better than, we know this land like we know the back of our hands, and we especially know all the old trees. And this tree wasn't there last season. This tree is bigger than every tree, and this tree looks older than every tree. And none of us, all the trackers agree from all the villages that none of us have ever seen this tree before. So the tree must be the magic. It must be magic. So Chaco decides, well, this is an easy problem. So we're just going to send somebody to chop down the tree. But hmm, I wonder who we are going to send to chop down this tree. You know who we're going to send first? Elders. Who? Elders. That's right. We're going to go to the elders, and we're going to get the elders to chop down the trees because the elders got the most experience. They're going to be able to do it quickly. And since they're dealing with magic, most of the tricks that will come from the tree, the elders will be ready for because they lived a long life. they wise enough to deal with the magic. So he gathered all the elders around the sacred campground, and he calls them all, and he says, elders. I've got you here today because I have an important mission for you. You know that our villages have been plagued. We have had a problem for months. And the very life of each one of these villages and our children and your grandchildren lie in your hands right now. We need to go out. Better yet, y'all need to go out because I'm going to stay here at the command center and make sure everything go well. Y'all need to go out to this magic tree and cut down the tree because I believe that once we get rid of the tree, we get rid of the birds. So the elders at first was kind of like not agreeing, you know, because they like, your logic don't sound right, sonny. You know what I'm saying? Don't sound right. So Chaco figured he had to get them hyped up. He said, I like you. I'm tired of these birds. If you are tired of these birds, let me hear you say yeah. Yeah! If you are, are you tired of these birds taking your hamburgers? Yeah! Are you tired of these birds taking your pizza? Yeah! Are you tired of these birds taking your broccoli? Yeah! Your goat stew? Yeah! Your hamburgers? Yeah! Your candy! Yeah! Then you must agree with me that these birds got to go. And Chaco stopped and then he looked at them like I'm looking at you now. And he said, the only solution is down with the birds. Down with, with the birds! Down with the birds! Shit!
planted it and planted it. And then they broke up and they went and got their axes. They went and got their spears. They went and got their shields. They went and got their bows and arrows. They went and got their swords. And they all came back to the meeting ground. And they all marched out to the tree. And when they got with this side of the tree, they weren't expecting to see what they saw. This was the most beautiful sight that any of them in all of their long lives had ever seen. The birds sitting on the tree where all the different colors made the tree look like it was on fire. The birds were such a beautiful sight sitting on this majestic tree out on top of the hill. So they decided they decided that they knew that they had to chop this tree down because that truly was a magical sight. So they surrounded the tree and they put the shields up front and behind the shields they put the swords and behind the swords they had individuals with spears and behind them people were the people with the axes and up, up farther back was the archers and they had all set up ready just in case the birds were going to attack and they slowly moved in on the tree step by step watching the birds making sure that they were not ready to attack. But the birds never moved. Actually, the birds sat there like statues. Every now and then, one would move. But they bet they didn't. They just sat there. And as they got close enough to the tree, they put the shields up over their heads, and from behind, everybody ran the best axe people. And they ran up, and they start chopping at the tree. And they did... Chop! 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 chop. And on chop. the third chop... chop. On the third chop, all the birds looked down at the same time. Then they looked up and they started singing. They started singing a song that was so beautiful and so magical that it stopped the elders in their tracks. Now, this wasn't an ordinary song. This ain't no song that you can turn on and listen to on the radio. This was a song that not only touched their ears, but this song touched their hearts. Because in the song, it was about the elders' past. And the elders fell out into it, and they really got involved with the music. Some of them started to cry. The music was so beautiful. They listened to it as the song reminded them of all the things that they had done. Reminded them of all the mistakes that they had made. Reminded them of love lost and love found. Reminded them of their parents and those people who had passed on. And the song was so beautiful that the elders listened all night. And when the sun rose, they all decided that they could not cut down the tree. So they picked up their shields. They picked up their spears. They picked up their swords. They picked up their bows and arrows. And they picked up their axes. And they walked back to their villages. But they sent one person to Chaco's house. And he walked up to the door. And he knocked three times. Go ahead. Somebody knock. Knock, knock, knock. Chaco ran to the door. He opened the door. He was excited. He said, come on in, Elder. Tell me what happened. And the elder sat down. He gave the elder some coffee. They sat down. They started talking. And the elder said, well, I got some bad news. I got some good news and some bad news for you. You want which one you want first? He said, oh, okay. Chaco said good news first. He said, well, we didn't cut down the tree. He said, how is that good news? He said, look, we decided as elders that any bird, any animal that can sing a song that beautiful cannot be evil. And we refuse to chop down that tree. And at that point in time, Chaco looked at the elder and he saw that the elder had been bewitched by these birds. This means that the man was up, the whole, all the elders was up under the spell of this bird. So they didn't care what the birds did no more. So he let the elder go and he started thinking, who can I send now? Because the elders, if the elders failed and they are the best of us, they are the wisest of, of us, who can I send now? But the only group that was left for him to send was who? The kids. No. The warriors and the nation builders. He sent them out. He sent them out. He called them all to him. And he said, warriors and nation builders, the very life of our villages is in your hands. And I didn't come to you at first because I didn't think 
that you will be able to accomplish the mission because we are dealing with some strong magic. In fact, the magic is so strong that it overcame my elders. So now the fate of the village is in your hand. So he go through his whole thing again. He said, I know, like me, that you are tired of these birds. Are you tired of these birds taking your food? Yes! Are you tired of these birds taking your cream of wheat? Yes! Are you tired of them taking your Cocoa Puffs? Yes! Are you tired of them taking your Captain Crunch? Yes! How about taking your hamburgers? Yes! Your french fries? Yes! Your pizzas? Yes! So then there's only one conclusion, and that conclusion is very simple. Down with the birds. 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 So So he sent out. and the warriors. Take your seat. Take your seat. He sent out all the warriors and the nation builders to the street. And when they got there, they were shot. And they set up just like the elders. Shields in front. Swords. Spears. And the people with the axe coming in behind. And way in the back was the archers ready to launch their ready to launch the arrows just in case the birds attack. So they moved in slowly with the shields. And as they got closer, they looked up and they noticed how beautiful this tree was. This was the most beautiful tree they ever saw. And with the birds on there, it glowed against the sky. So they moved closer to the tree. And when they got close enough, they raised the shields up above their heads to protect their heads. And the people with the axes jumped up on the tree. And they immediately began to chop. Chop! 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 chop and on chop, the third chop, chop, the birds started singing. But this song didn't affect the warriors and the nation builders. So they kept chopping. Chop! 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 chop. So the birds changed their song. And this time, the song caught the warriors and the nation builders. And they immediately stopped. And they dropped the axes. And they dropped the shields. And they dropped the swords. And they dropped the spears. And they dropped their bows and arrows. And they listened to the song. And they started dancing. Because the song, go ahead, go and get up. They started dancing. Oh, 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 oh. Having fun. Because the song that the birds sang was about the future and victories to come. The birds sung about love to come. The birds sung about adventures to come. The birds sung about challenges to come. And the warriors and the nation builders got caught up in the magic. Go ahead, grab a seat. So they danced all night. And when the morning came and the sun rose, and they were totally exhausted, they talked amongst themselves and they came to the agreement that they could not chop down this tree. So they all picked up their spears, they picked up their swords, they picked up their shields, they picked up their bows and arrows, and lastly they picked up their axes, and they walked back to their villages. And they sent one person to Chaco's house, and they walked up, he walked up to Chaco's house and he knocked. Chaco jumped up and ran to the door and said, man. I'm so glad to see you come on in. And he had breakfast prepared. And they sat down and they talked for a minute. 
And then Chaco said, well, how did it go with the tree? And the nation builder looked at him and said, well, Chaco, I got some good news and some bad news. Bad news. Bad news. I, you, want the, you want the good news or bad news first? Bad news. Well, the bad news is we didn't cut down the tree. Chaco said, yeah, that is bad. So what's the good news? The good news is that we decided we wasn't going to chop down the tree. <laughs> Chaco said, what? And he was about to argue with the man about how the bird has been taking food out of your children's mouths. How the birds have been tormenting the people. And Chaco said, I'm not even going to argue. Because he looked at the man and he saw that the man had been bewitched by the birds. And all of the warriors and the nation builders were up under the spell. Chaco let him go, and for a second, Chaco felt so bad that he started, he wanted to cry because he didn't know what to do now. He didn't know what to do now because the elders had failed, the warriors and the nation builders had failed. That's basically the grandparents and the parents had failed the village. Who else can he depend on to go out and get this tree? The children. the children! It just so happened that outside Chaco's window, I'll wait. Outside Chaco's window, some kids was outside playing. And he looked and he thought about it. He said, I guess I don't have anything to lose. I know the elders and the nation builders and the warriors won't like it, but I'm going to have to get the kids to help me. And I'm going to have to go out this time. So, he tell one of the kids, he said, come here. I want you to go gather all the children at the sacred meeting grounds. But don't make sure you don't tell your grandparents or your parents. Y'all come in secret. So all the kids go and they tell and they spread the secret around. They all gather at the camp, at the, at the meeting grounds. And Chaco walks up to the stage and he says, children. The future of our villages are in your hands. The elders, your grandparents, and your parents have failed you. They have all filled up under the spell of this bird. And the only people left for me to call is you. And I need you to come with me. Because we have a mission. We have to destroy the tree that is causing us all this grief. How many of you are tired like me? If you're tired like me, are these birds taking your food? Say yeah. yeah. Are you tired of these fools taking your candy? Yeah. Are you tired of these birds taking your pizza? Yeah. Are you tired of them taking your burritos? Yeah. Are you tired of them taking your yeah. Are you tired of them taking your soup? Yeah. Are you tired of them taking your vegetables? Yeah. Then there's only one solution, and that solution is down with the birds. Down with the birds.
The birds were so beautiful. The children saw the tree and they all dropped the spears and they all dropped their swords and they all dropped the shields and they just ran towards the tree. They ran towards the tree because the tree was so beautiful. And they ran up to the tree and they immediately started chopping. Chop, chop, chop. The birds all at the same time looked down and started singing. And the song didn't stop the kids and the kids kept chopping. Chop, 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 chop. So the birds changed the song and started singing another song. But the kids kept on chopping. Chop, chop. And the birds tried to sing louder, but the children kept chopping. Chop, 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 chop. And the birds kept trying to sing, and they sung louder, and the kids kept chopping. was watching and when the birds sung the first song Chaco started crying like one of the elders then when they sung the second song he started dancing like the warriors of the nation builders because he fell up under the spell but the children didn't fall up under the spell and when they started singing louder he just basically passed out but finally when the children got done chopping go ahead chop 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 the birds stopped singing. And all the children gathered around the back of the tree. And Chaco said, Push! And the children said on three. One, two, three. Timber! The tree fell. But the birds didn't move. And the kids weren't scared. So all the kids ran to the tree and they grabbed one of the birds that looked like a statue. And as they picked up the bird, the bird turned into light and it lit the child up because the bird's magic went into the children. But it wasn't bad magic. Now, as they went back home, Chaco sent the children out to go tell the elders and the warriors and the nation builders to meet them at the sacred campground, the secret meeting place. And everybody came. And he and they was looking around at the kids celebrating. They asked the kids, why y'all celebrating? And Chaco went on stage and said, we're celebrating because your children have succeeded where you have failed. He said the children did not fall up under the spell of the birds. The birds fell up under the spell of the children. Because the children didn't get caught in the past as the elders did. And because they wasn't so caught into the future like the nation builders and the warriors. And because they was able to focus on now, they were able to do. Well, all you adults could not. So every day we will celebrate these children. Now, this is what's special about those children. Those children like you absorb the magic of the birds. And this, this group of kids became the generation of the Nyami people that would change them forever. Because these kids all were brilliant after that day. And that's the end of this story. Y'all say bye. Bye.